this, is it this doesn't count. So I think it right. also has to yeah. do with the individual thing because if you if you presuppose this whole individual thing, it's presupposing that each individual has the same value. Yeah. Yeah. In this society, no. If you have no face, you have no value. You can come out as much as you want. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If you have face, you have value. That that's where <laughs> that, that face thing happens. And this is why the, the Talk sisters protest with masks mm -hmm. and the the, the the gay groups, the gay and lesbian groups also protest with masks. Yeah. Um, to show that you have a face. No, 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 you don't face. have a face. But you will Nobody really looks at but individuals. People people pay attention to group efforts. Right. And it you makes the stigmatization visible. It makes right. the stigmatization visible, but then you take it as a group. Mm -hmm. You don't have that individual value. Mm -hmm. But then I think it also, this also means that, you know, you can't ask of this kind of a, um, say, this kind of a subject, or this kind of a person, who are you? Because this who are you is, in a way, if it's through that um, act, through that group action, it's it's sex with each other. You know, that was very descriptive. But and as long as women had sex with each other without penetration, without the, one of them becoming the man, it was okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, this was later on, the beginning of the 1900s. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I think, you know, and which I think in a way <laughs> makes sense in the patriarchal structure, you know, because as long as they keep on being women, both of them, yeah. you know, no one taking on the phallus yeah. of being the man, yeah. you know, it's okay. They can do it. Yeah, that's why you see girls and women holding hands on the street here. Yeah. And boys too, right? Like in Korea, the boys are always holding hands. <laughs> China. <laughs> China, too. China, China too. Beijing. Yeah. Yeah. Even now, now, if you're not gay, you still the boys hold hands. Right. right. It's not related. It's, just because it's not related. It's not Homo homophilia. Homophilia. It's, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Just sometimes it's very ironic. It's not sexual. Yeah. <laughs> 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 in Korea, it's uh, working as a culture between the same sex. It's very it's, uh, familiar and very close. So and sometimes, you know, discussion between women and discussion between men and mixture is very different. So we more talk of maybe amongst women, we talk about our is okay, intimacy and our is uh, very is uh, secret. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about sex now? Me? Because okay, this is a fantasy I have because of you know <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> because of what I read studied before about China, Chinese culture and sexuality, that somehow it had roots of being more sexually shameless in a way, if I compare with the Christian country I come from, the culture. You know, that everything is about pleasure is and sex mm -hmm. is, you know, supposed to enjoy it, you know. So, okay, I have that thing. And then I think about Taiwan that I don't know so much about, but I know you have lots of Aboriginal groups. Mm -hmm. And I think about, you know, mm -hmm. what, what is what is the, the um, taboos or what is the attitude towards sexuality in their cultures? And what has happened, you know, do you talk about sex? And if you don't talk so much about sex, do you have free sex anyway? You know, or is the sexual encounter full of shame? And I say that also because I've been about in Italy lately, and they have like horrible laws around um, homosexuality and sex work and pornography. But man, these people talk about sex and have sex a lot. I mean, <laughs> it's like always sex. Yeah. Um, but also Southern European. So I'm thinking, but even if it's, if it has, um, like it's supposed to be repressive sexually, it doesn't need to be that in actuality. Mm -hmm. no, and I also think about Sweden, we're supposed to be so sexually free, but we don't fuck much. <laughs> and there's a lot of concern about sexuality. So even if we talk about it, you know, we are not free. And I was told in my talk the other day, and I'm going to print it so people can read it. The, the discussion that's been the last couple of months 
about the feminist discussion has been concentrated on how to teach teenage women to say no to anal sex. Seriously, this has been the big debate. Not in about where? Sweden. Sweden. Sweden? Yeah. Sweden. Uh, you mean vaginal sex, okay? Anal, anal sex, sex, no? Anal no. Sex. Yeah. What about and about the reason is why? Okay, the reason is the debate about pornography, and I thought we could maybe talk about that a bit later because it has to do with violence and men and women and that kind of stuff. But because it's a very strong anti pornography movement. Yeah, um, here too. Yeah, in Sweden. In Sweden. Extremely strong. And the, the anti porn feminists say that um, men get these horrible ideas from porn like anal sex. And they think that women want anal sex, which we don't want, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course not. <laughs> and the problem is that then young women get all these infections. So mm -hmm. women have to learn how to, to no, not AIDS much, but vaginal infections, because they first have anal and then mm -hmm. vaginal sex without oh, yeah. So, yeah. So their concern is not how to teach young women have safe anal sex, without it hurting, without getting diseases, but how teach them have no sex, no anal sex. So back to the, my question to you, what is the climate, the sexual climate between individuals here? You mean the first question is, do you talk? What's the climate, I mean, verbal climate? Both verbal and, and like the actual. Yeah. Ooh. And I guess yeah. you're saying what is the relation between talking and doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do university students live together without being married? Yes. A big percentage? Yes. Say Pakaisha. They are four to a room in dormitories, same sex. <laughs> <laughs> All the student populations, four to a room. And if you want to live with uh, people of the other sex, you move off campus. Well, um, certainly, I mean, because um, the population of sex workers is so diverse um, that there'll be gay and lesbian people within the sex industry. Um, the male sex industry is, in Sydney is very different to the female sex industry in that because there is a very large and very strong